Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to set up HTTP injector DNS TTT. So make sure you install HTTP injector and you have the DNS TTT plugin installed. So I'm going to go where I created my SSH account. It is required you create yours. The link is in the description. So as you can see, this is my account information and before we go in further this tutorial is intended intended for educational purposes only so you go here you click on the dns tt you click save and then you click on the settings icon you click on the secure shell ssh then you paste your details here so i'm going to go back to chrome and paste my details i'm going to copy my username please do as i am doing so this will make sure i will guarantee you that the server will connect make sure that it is a valid server before creating account now i'm going to copy my password and i have just pasted my password and i'm oh my phone has no power and i'm going to go back and set up the dns ttt i'll click on the dns and then i'll click on the dns resolver select google depending on what is working on your network so i'm going to click on to go and copy the public key and the worst name so i'm just going to copy the worst name this is the name saver too so i will copy it and then i'll go back and paste it here this is my account details so this will expire I recommend you to create your own and I'm going to copy the public key and copy and then I'm going to paste it where you say DNS TTT public key I'm going to paste it there now that I've set up the DNS TTT it's time to go back it's time to turn on let me see what I'm going to do here let me turn on mobile data and start Before connecting, make sure that you know that the DNS is very slow than any connection protocol. DNS is very slow. It's like 100 kilobytes per second. On 5G, it might be 50. Mine is 50 KB per second, which means that it is very slow, but it's, it's worth a try. So the server is closed. The server is busy. It is overloaded and I'll try to to wait you wait a little longer because it it usually takes a long to connect but on if depending on the server sometimes it it uh, usually do the one tap thing where you just one tap it connects now it's reconnecting and it's not connecting so i'm just going to start it again you should try this when it does not connect this might help it to connect fast i am going to stop and turn on airplane mode and turn it off and start again this is the method i use start And as you can see it is connected so this tutorial is only for educational purposes only do not use it for any harmful activities and i am not responsible for that i've just shown you how to set up http injector only for educational if you want to learn how to do it this is how you do it and it is connected and as you can see here is a pop-up show that is connected thanks for watching subscribe like 